Join my sundress challenge starting on Monday, March 30th. This challenge is for people that want to drop fat and tone up. How do you join? It's easy. Just go to kabokofitness.com forward slash join, submit your info, and you are in. Today, Monday, March 30th, is the last day to join for a chance to win the prizes. You do not want to miss out on this. Go and sign up. I'm kind of rocking a little bit of a food baby from the best lunch ever but as you can see I have had a six pack or something like that for the last couple of years I used to think that it was totally impossible for me to have visible abs I'm a person that tends to store a lot of fat naturally on my belly my calves on my arms when you watch this video there are a couple of things that are gonna happen for you first it's going to reconcile all the information you have seen online and it's going to make everything make sense for you second it's thing is going to help you understand how you personally can achieve your goal to have abs is going to give you an, an actual real-time six-pack ab workout. I strongly recommend that you come back to this video and do that workout religiously if it is your goal to get six-pack abs. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial. We are going to use Whitney and Jen as our avatars. In my last video where I first introduced Whitney and Jen to you, I talked about Jen and I didn't talk about Whitney and so many of you were upset. So in this video, I am going to start with Whitney and then I will talk about Jen just so we can have some fairness and balance over here. If you look like Whitney, me and you are trying to get six-pack abs you need to identify if you are skinny fat or if you are just skinny if you are skinny fat that means you are extremely thin but you have a very high body fat percentage you will know you're skinny fat because you will have a gut if you are skinny it's very straightforward it means you need to put on a little bit of muscle you do this by eating just a little bit more and also by doing resistance training. If you are a true beginner to exercise, your resistance training should start with just body weight exercises. And then you can progress to light weights and then heavier weights. And if you're really wanting to go for it, you can start going to the gym. So that's for the skinny people. I will show you the exercises at the end of this video that will help you to get your six pack abs. Now, for the people that are skinny fat, you too need to put on a little bit of muscle. However, we also need to address the issue of being skinny fat. One of the things that can cause being skinny fat is not getting enough protein in the diet. It could be due to hormonal imbalances, in which case you need to see a doctor and make sure there's nothing going on there from a medical perspective. It could also be from eating a lot of sugar, a lot of highly processed foods. It could be from eating a diet that's not appropriate for your body type. So so if you are skinny fat, it's slightly more complicated than being just skinny. However, the bottom line recommendation is very similar to people that are skinny, which is to put on some muscle. And the workout I will share at the end of this video is also appropriate for you. The other thing to keep in mind if you are skinny fat is to watch your diet. For you, it's not just a simple matter of just eating a little bit more. It could also mean you need to watch the sugars if you are guilty of that. It could also mean watching the alcohol. So now we have talked about the skinny people and the skinny fat people. Notice that I haven't said anything about how you have to lose fat so that you can reveal the abs that are already underneath your muscles. And you're going to understand why in just a moment. Let's move on and talk about Jen. If you look like Jen, you have a higher body fat percentage than is appropriate for your body frame. What this means is you need to drop some of that fat in order to get into a position where you can even start to think about abs. So for people that look like Jen, the goal is not even to get six pack abs at first. There is another goal that has to come before getting six pack abs. And that goal is to shed a lot of the fat on that belly area and all over the body in general. If you look like Jen, I will recommend going on my website, kabokofitness.com, starting a 10 day free trial and check out the 21 day belly fat focus program. When it comes to exercise for someone that looks like Jen, I strongly recommend body weight exercises. One of the main reasons I recommend this is because body weight exercises are exercises that remove excuses. So check that out on my website. If you're not ready for it, go on my, on my channel. I have so many many workout videos. Try out the Tabata videos, cardio videos, full body workout videos. Those are all workouts that would be awesome for somebody that looks like Jen. As you can see, the focus for Whitney and Jen is totally different. The focus for Jen is to just focus on getting that body fat down. Now let's talk about food for everybody. If you are trying to get six pack abs, there are certain things you have to understand. 
<laughs> the first thing is that sugar is not your friend. It's something that has to be cut down. The second thing is eating the right quantity of food. If you are skinny or skinny fat, you need to avoid being in a calorie deficit, which means you are eating less food than you are burning per day. If you look more like Jen, you need to be in a calorie deficit so that you can lose that body fat. That being said, let's talk about the types of exercises that you should have in your routine if you're trying to get six pack abs. I'm going to show you only three exercises. The first type of exercise is really focused on the upper part of your abs. The second exercise is focused more on the lower part of the abs. And the third exercise is an overall core strengthening and conditioning exercise. The first time you try this workout, if you're unsuccessful at completing everything, don't sweat, don't beat yourself up, come back and try again. Again. keep trying until you can do it I'm going to show you the hardest version of this workout that you can do at home with minimal equipment however I will also give you some tips on how you can modify this to make this a little bit easier if you're just getting started let me show you these three exercises that are foolproof if you do it consistently you will get results I just do it by myself. Oh, oh, oh. 
I just do 